you're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land with boundaries of that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. What does the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution really mean? What was the intent of our forefathers? The Second Amendment reads, a well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I take that to mean that an individual can own firearms if they are in the army and fighting to keep their freedom. I do not take it to mean that any individual not in the army has the right to bear arms. All I know is that our forefathers weren't thinking about what the ramifications of this would be centuries later. There are more senseless shootings in the U.S. than any other country, and it seems that almost every day there's some idiot responsible for a mass shooting somewhere, and the Republicans always give the same watered-down, rubber-stamped response. The Republican response is always, we'll pray for the victims. Well, I have a piece of news for the Republicans. Those prayers aren't bringing any of the dead people back to life. What we need to do is to revisit the interpretation of the Second Amendment and institute strong measures for gun control and make sure that any idiot can't own a gun. We also need an immediate ban on all assault weapons that were meant for war. New York City has the toughest gun laws in the country, and in New York City, it's very difficult to get a license to carry a gun, and New York City's crime per capita is much lower than a number of other major cities. We should take a cue from New York City and do everything to get guns out of the hands of criminals and morons. I'm for strict gun control.